hi everyone welcome to this update video this evening i hope that you're doing really great so this is my second update video for today and that is because we've got an unprecedented hurricane in the atlantic basin right now and you may think it's nadine but it's not it's actually newly formed oscar so oscar became a name storm this morning and it's rapidly intensified and is now currently a hurricane just to the north of hispaniola and it is closing in on the Turks and Caicos Islands and next will be the southeastern Bahamas and eastern Cuba. So we're going to be taking a look at this system in some details for what's going on with it this evening and uh, what is ahead for uh, as it relates to impacts as well. So let's get straight on with it. So here we're taking a look at the Caribbean region this evening. This is what the infrared satellite imagery is looking like. So there's been quite a few showers and thunderstorms across some areas. We've got Nadine, which made landfall uh, earlier today in Belize and is still bringing its dangerous impacts, especially as it relates to the rainfall. And you may not be able to see that it's a, uh, it's a hurricane, but there we've got Oscar closing in on the Turks and Caicos Islands. So it is a very short noticed hurricane and uh, it is likely going to be bringing those very dangerous hurricane conditions, the strong winds, the storm surge. So that is going to be resulting in coastal flooding as well as a lot of heavy rain. So that is going to be likely across the Turks and Caicos as we head into tonight and even into tomorrow as well. And eventually it's going to be moving rather slowly because a curve up to the north is expected. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast. So here we've got it and we see quite a bit of color around. So we've got a couple of watches and warnings in effect. So we have a hurricane warning that's in red currently in effect for the Turks and Caicos Islands as well as the southeastern Bahamas. Now the system is going to be moving a little bit to the west southwest dipping towards Cuba where we have a tropical storm warning as well as a hurricane watch. And as it is going to be dipping there and slowing down, it is going to be making a curve and weakening because conditions are going to be getting increasingly unfavorable but uh, there is a pretty decent chance that it will be strengthening over the course of uh, maybe the next day or so so it may strengthen a little bit more as of now it is a cat one hurricane with maximum sustained winds up to 85 miles per hour and it is moving westward at 10 miles per hour so it's really the bahamas turks and caicos islands and cuba that will be feeling the worst of the system and depending on how organized and how large it is some of the rain could also impact parts of haiti uh, and even jamaica if any of the activity manages to reach that far but it is not expected to make a dip straight into the island it's as it is going to be approaching cuba when that curve is expected and then the system is going to be moving up and out and the pressure systems to the north those are what influence the track of these tropical systems so again very dangerous conditions uh hurricane force winds the storm surge the heavy rain and there's likely to be a plethora of power uh, power outages as well across parts of the bahamas and turks and caicos islands and even cuba as the system is going to be making its way through the area over the course of the next couple of days so as it pertains to the rainfall forecast across much of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands and sections of Cuba, there could be two to four inches of rain in total. And some of the highest rainfall amounts are expected in the easternmost part of Cuba. We can see the yellow shade in indicating four to six inches or 100 to 150 millimeters of rain over the course of the next few days. So as Oscar is going to be loitering around, it is likely to unleash a lot of rain, especially since it will be decreasing in its acceleration while it is going to be making that curve so that is what is going on with it a pretty unexpected hurricane for the most part right now just to the north of hispaniola and again there is room for additional strengthening and those dangerous impacts are going to be uh, well they have likely already started for the turks and caicos islands so you can let me know what's been going on for you if you're there and please be safe and do not take any unnecessary risks as it pertains to Nadine, Nadine has made landfall and it is moving inland. However, that tropical storm warning still remains in effect. It will soon be discontinued for parts of Mexico as well as Belize. But it is going to continue with that rainfall threat further into Central America as we head to the next few days. 
And so, guys, that is essentially what I wanted to bring to your attention this evening. The fact that we had Invest 94L quickly developing into a tropical storm and rapidly strengthening into a hurricane. And that it is an imminent threat to land, bringing dangerous impacts uh, that have already uh, likely started in parts of the Lucayan archipelago. And it's pretty likely that one of the reasons for the uh, rapid intensification, in a sense, is the fact that uh, the estimates, uh, initial estimates from the National Hurricane Center were not true to what was actually going on within the system because i mean it's very tiny plus it's always the tiny ones with the biggest surprises i mean look at milton for example that became one of the most powerful category 5 hurricanes ever the fifth most powerful in terms of pressure so the national hurricane center they had uh their plane go out in the system and investigate it and that is when they were seeing that you know hold up this is actually a hurricane because they were finding those hurricane force winds within the system even though it looks like just a typical blob on satellite but it's actually a hurricane so that is what happens with it guys and if you're under a watch if you're under a warning please take it seriously and please do not take any unnecessary risks either heed the warnings from your local officials guys and of course be on the lookout for my next update video coming tomorrow morning so that's going to be a detailed update and uh, that's it for right now so i do hope you found this evening update to be informative however if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below i'll get to you as soon as i have the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise